Hey, hey guys, and welcome to this week's episode of Swen. First up, we've got question of the week with Josh. Here, we've got a prom slideshow for you guys. Next up, we've got the weather with Matt. Hey guys, it's Matt Mohardy here with the weather. And we're going to start Monday, it's going to be cloudy with a high of 53 and a low of 45. And then Tuesday is going to be rainy with a high of 60 and a low of 51. And then Wednesday is going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 64 and a low of 50. And then Thursday is going to be rainy with a high of 62 and a low of 49. And then Friday is going to be a thunder shower, so be safe. It's going to be a high of 64 and a low of 50. Now here's Kobe with sports. Thanks, Matt. What's going on, Summer Sports? My name is Walshy, and today I'm bringing you this week's sports. It's the last three home games of the season. Baseball and softball are starting off Monday, playing Manadnock at 4. Then Wednesday, they're playing Raymond, also at 4. And finally, Friday, baseball and softball are playing against Interlakes at 4.30. Make sure to be there. That was fire. Now we've got a farm to school segment. We're doing a project called Trash on the Lawn and we have the entire seventh grade class at Summersworth Middle School going through a day's worth of collection of waste at our school. We love talking about trash because it is part of our everyday lives. It's a part of our communities. It is becoming a really big issue in every community, not only New Hampshire, but across the U.S. because of what's happening in our global scale. So I work with the Northeast Resource Recovery Association and it's a nonprofit based out of Epsom, New Hampshire, and they work with communities on uh, marketing their materials and getting good prices for their recycling and solid waste. And we're noticing that right here in Summersworth because of the prices of our recycling to be able to recycle is going up. So in turn, we had to increase the uh, price of our pay-as-you-throw bags. 
where are we uh, successful in our sorting of our waste and where do we need to make some improvements. Um, some of the biggest aha moments right now is we're finding a, um, an awful lot of paper in our trash cans um, and we have recycling here at our school which would be a better option. Another surprise is a lot of food waste in our trash cans. And we have a composting with Mr. Fox that we do at our school. So that's a solution we already have in place that could be improved. Um, but now what we're doing is we're sorting it out uh, and we're weighing it out. And we're trying to identify where are we uh, successful in our sorting of our waste and where do we need to make some improvements. We can no longer send our trash or recycling overseas to be dealt with by another country, so we're being forced to deal with it right here. At the end of this, the students are going to gather the data and create a pie chart, uh, which is a model to communicate what we find out um, and hopefully educate our school community on ways that we can improve our sorting of our waste. If we keep doing bad stuff to the earth, we're nearing the point where there's no return and it's like you can't solve it anymore. Yeah. We're at a critical point where if we don't finish what, like, recycle will do what we need to fix what we've done within a couple years, we can't fix it and it will just end up getting worse from there. So it's becoming right at the forefront of everybody's pockets. So that's why we're here today talking about it. Anyone would be timid just to go through their own trash, but once you start seeing it and you can sort it out and do something with it, then that's where the impact comes in. And here are your SHS announcements. The spring concert is on Tuesday evening, May 21st. And don't forget that there's a long weekend this weekend. There's no school on Monday. Bye, Bye guys. And we'll see you next week on Swen. Swen.